I remember watching an interview with Warren Buffett. If you don't know who Warren Buffett is, he is the 10th richest man in the world. And in this interview, he was asked, what is the most important skill you've learned to become a billionaire? And he said, it's communication. And the moment I saw that, I started to realize how important communication is to success. Not just communicating with other people, but also communication with yourself. Because like I say in most of my videos, you can go back and watch my video about manifestation. Your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts create your reality. So the words that you say in your head have a direct impact to how much success you can gain in this life. To give you the perfect example, in the Bible, it talks about in the beginning, the world, the word was with God and the word was God. And the first thing that God does on the first day, I believe, is to say, let there be light. And there was light. So God communicated. God used words to create light, create life on earth. Let there be man. He used words to turn, he turned words into life. So communication, your words have life. Your words have power. And we are all made in God's image. I want you to understand that as well. Another important thing that I want you to understand is that you think with words. Try to think without using words. How impossible is that? It is not possible, I promise you. You can't think in mathematics. <laughs> you can only think in words because words are the only way we make sense of the things around us, the definitions. Once something is created, we give it a name. Once the light bulb was created, we give it a name. A word in English is, there's also a word in another language, a word in Spanish, a word in Jewish. But words are the way we communicate. We might speak different languages, but we all use words. And we translate them to different meanings of the same thing, of the same definition. So we think in words. So it's important to watch and listen to what you're thinking about because your thoughts create your reality. Like I said, if you want to know how to manifest, go check out my video about manifestation. Manifesting is real. You've just been doing it wrong. Check out my channel. So we also speak in words. Every day you go around and you go to school, you go to work, you go to university, and you talk to different people. And what is something you notice? You ask somebody, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm okay. People use words to describe who they are. So you are constantly using words to describe who you are and your self-identity. I also have a video on self-identity. You can check it out. It will help you and it will change your life. Your self-identity. So you need to be careful and understand the power of words because words are the most powerful weapon that we have. It creates our reality, it creates and controls other people. The only way you can ask me to do something or help you like the other day, I had somebody comment on one of my videos and say, oh, I need, I want you to help me with my business. She used words. And the only reason why I'll consider that is because she used words, right? Makes sense. So you need to be careful what you're telling yourself. You need to be careful what you're putting out there. You can use your own words to make yourself sad. You can also use your own words to make yourself happy. You can use, when you, when you apply for a job, you have to communicate. You have to sell yourself to the interviewer. Oh, my name is Emmanuel. I do this. This is my experience. Oh, why do you do this? They use words to understand how you think and if you're a good fit for the role. Because if you can't clearly communicate, then you're not going to be able to do the job. It's pretty simple. So you need to be careful with the words you're using, not just outside of your mouth, but in your head. Let's talk about the power of the tongue, like the Bible talks about it, for instance. In Proverbs 18.21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. That Bible verse talks about how powerful the tongue is. The tongue can literally kill and bring forth life. Literally, if you want to get a girlfriend, you have to talk to her into talking her into the bedroom, right? And you guys can have a kid, so you bring forth life. But you have to talk to her, correct? And if you want to get somebody executed, you can go ahead and snitch on somebody, right? Gonna, for instance. I'm just joking. <laughs> that is how powerful your words are. And remember, not, the, not just the words that come out of your mouth, but also the words that you think to yourself. Another important, another important Bible verse is Galatians 6, 7. And it says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. You reap what you think. The thoughts that you sow into your subconscious mind. I'm going to be making a video about the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. So stay tuned, subscribe, and Turn on your notifications for you to get that video because it can change your life. So the the thoughts that you sow into your the thoughts that you sow into your subconscious mind, like I am not good enough. I'm also going to make a video about I am statements. 
because you need to you need to understand the power of your words and i am is one of the most powerful statements that shape your reality and your life because you say i am stupid i am not good enough i am not smart if you keep saying that it comes to life you start to believe it and it plants those seeds in your subconscious mind and they grow and they shape who you are your self-identity so you need to be careful those seeds that you're planting on a daily basis so one thing i need you to do from now on is find some time find some time to be alone in a quiet place whether you go to a library go to a library and just find an empty chair where nobody's at and sit there and listen to your thoughts just listen to your thoughts what kind of words come back to you about yourself about what generally comes and pops up in your head. Can you even be able to keep your head quiet, your thoughts quiet, your mind quiet? Because these are important things to manifesting because most people have all this noise in their head, all this noise in their head. I once saw a TikTok of a girl, it was so funny. I saw a TikTok of a girl and she was talking about how somebody told her that she should stop gossiping. Like she should stop telling people, she should stop gossiping with her friends, her girlfriends, whatever and see how much she doesn't have anything to talk about and she tried it and she doesn't have anything to talk about she was like i don't have anything to talk about what do i do like what do i do with my time on earth like all i do is just talk about other people and other things and so that is evidence that sometimes people don't even focus on their own reality they're always yapping 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 but the truth is in order to clearly manifest you need to quiet your mind so that you're going to be able to see and think what you want. What do I actually want? Am I just wasting time doing all these things? What do I actually believe about myself? What words pop up in my head about myself whenever I try something? You want to be a musician and before you even write a song, you already believe you're not good enough. You already believe, like, you believe the worst shit, but that is not your fault. Like I said, it's all been planted in your subconscious mind because of the words that you think on a daily basis. The words are powerful. You need to learn how to articulously or let me not use big words you need to learn how to consciously choose the words that you use and think thank you